Hello people, uh, welcome back to Outcast with me, Sentinel. Right, okay, after just getting absolutely owned uh, somewhere else, I've decided what I'm going to do is take out this small group here. Um, there's three or four people. Once that's done, we'll then move on to the next area. Now, I haven't completed this area, but like I said, after getting owned, I believe that perhaps maybe... Ow, what the fuck was that? Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, That's... There's a... Shit, I know what that is. Perhaps this isn't the best place to stop then. Ah, Christ, they nearly killed me. Right, okay. Um, Don't stand still. Note yourself. One, raw weapon. Right, okay, yeah, I haven't completed this area, but it's time to move on, because we need bigger and better weapons. And that will only come... ...with other areas. Right, okay, that's them dealt with. Um, yeah, so the, the only place really we can access that's new is... Oh, God, uh, I think it's called Motazar, the next place on the map. Uh, uh, run away, run away, before the thing gets us. Right, okay, I believe what hit us before was actually um, there's a bird that flies around it sounds like a Twanha, almost exactly but it actually flies around that upper area of the map the bit we can't get into and sort of patrols almost and I, I believe it's probably that that dropped something on us that's what that was threw me off completely because I, I forgot about it but um, I do remember it being around and I, I think that's what that was anyway so what have we got? 121, it's not great Yes, yeah, so the next place to move on to is... It's not ideal, I have to admit, I was hoping to be a bit better when we got there. Uh, a bit better equipped. But we honestly don't seem to have anything that's going to help us. Where's this? Another patrol over this way. And that's the problem, until we start sort of taking out their headquarters, these people just keep coming back. Right, yeah. So the only portal, like I said, we can access is the one by the village. So we'll head there. And I think I remember, but we'll see what awaits us on the other side. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Someone calling. Excuse me, do you need some help? Maybe he can tell us about the magma exactly. Do you know something about Magua? It is very rare. Only soldiers are allowed to have them. But Logar has been known to take what the soldiers have for a price. Oh, okay. So, oh, God. who is this Logar guy? Hang on, let's see if we can find him. I can't remember speaking to him previously, but it wouldn't surprise me if we had Logar. Where can I find Logar? He is to the northeast of me, maybe, but I have not seen him for some time. Northeast. Alright, let's do that. I want to find this Magua, or at least how to get one. Then we'll move on. You look pointless. Let's see. Loga? Can I ask you something? Where can I find Logar? Go northeast from this spot, Ulokai. He was in that direction. Further northeast. Okay. Right, okay. So perhaps he is one of these two, and I didn't realise. No, it can't be because I don't have any options. So it's not him. Who's this guy? Like? And how's that over there? No, okay. So who did I speak to? I spoke to a guy just there, so. Perhaps it's him there? 
seems awfully close, because sometimes they, they point to people if they're nearby. Perhaps by northeast they mean really northeast, and he's like the other side of the temple. Can I see you for a second? Where can I find Logar? He is to the northeast of me, maybe, but I have not seen him for some time. Right, okay. Yep, yeah, really northeast apparently, so let's get that one for a bit. At least we know who's got it. Perhaps I can write that down somewhere. Okay, yes, from what I remember, on the other side of this portal, there's nothing fun waiting for us. Now, I believe it doesn't dump us straight into enemy territory. Who are you? Let's see if we can talk to this guy. Is this selling us? That would be handy. Excuse me, pal. Hello. Oh, the yards smile on me. You are the Ulukai, no? Yeah, that's me. Good old Ulukai. <laughs> I cannot wait to tell my friends that I meet you today. What can Zelina hey. do for you oh, this Zelina's. wonderful okay. moon? Uh, right. Zolas sent me. He said he's been waiting forever for you to send him his next Twanha. Did I forget again? Oh my! <laughs> I just hate taking them out to the fields to see them working. Yeah, it breaks my heart. <laughs> would you take it out there for me, Ulukai? I would be grateful if you did. Oh, um. Yes, yeah, we need to help the people. Go on. If I have to. Oh, thank you, Ulukai. I shall repay you in some way. What do I have to do? I will give you this gi. As long as you hold it in your hand, the Twanha will follow you. But if it gets scared away by fighting, then you will have a hard time finding it. Damn, that gi is funky. Phew. Where is this Twanha? <laughs> funky. The Twanha you need rests now in the pen at the center of the village. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're really close to the portal, but let's go away again. Uh, all right. We've got to help these people, and you know, metal bonus. Let's have a look. See that one there. Get into it. Right, okay. Uh, right now, where is it? Right, be this. Is it, it, it is this one with the... Is it this one? None of them are following us. That's not the... That's nowhere near the bloody centre of the village. Cheap bastard. Right. Ran right past it. Come on. This way. Ah, uh, delivered to Can I ask you something? Hey, Zolas. I got something for you. You brought it? But I do not understand. Where is Salinas? He didn't want to do it. Not only is his essence crazy, but lazy as well, I guess. He will be the reversion of me yet. <laughs> I don't mean to interrupt, but you want this thing or not? This ghee is really starting to smell. Yes, may I have it? Of course, we don't want it. Please, take it before the stench kills me. Thank you, Urukai. I must start work now. Tell Zalinas that I will be in great danger if he is late again. And for doing this, I will tell you a secret I know. 
In the mud can be seen small sticks poking up. Under those sticks are stashes of sacred objects. May you find them useful. Thanks. Unfortunately, it's a secret I knew as well, but never mind. Okay. Pleasure doing business. Now onwards. These guys want something? No. Okay, never mind. Right, let's go back to the portal. <laughs> All the way to where we already were. That is the only problem with this game. To really progress, you've got to do a lot of running around. And, you know, when you're playing on your own, that's not so bad. You get to explore uh, everything the world sort of has to offer, as well as, you know, pick up things maybe you missed the first time, that kind of stuff. But, you know, if you're watching this, I can imagine it's pretty, pretty slow. Just Twonha, still good. Right, okay. Yeah, do we? Yeah, we can always come back through. We need something. But, yeah, let's go. Welcome to Motazar, I believe. Someone wants to talk to us already. Greetings. Hello. Good moon to you, Ulukai. Is this your first time here? Yeah, I'm new in town. Got a place a man can tie up his horse, maybe throw down a tall one, see some sights. So many things they don't understand. I am... Um, I do not... <laughs> Sorry, just blowing off a little steam. Were you? Yes, I just arrived. Yes, well, you will find that there are many things to be found here. Be careful where you move inside the city, Ulukai. The soldiers here look for you even now. I hope you are strong enough to face them. We'll see, I guess. I must leave now. My essence is in danger. I have been stealing the keys to soldiers' storage houses, hiding them around the city. I was almost caught this moon, but I have managed to get out. It is good that I met you before I went into hiding. You gonna be okay? We Guardians are a quick group of Talans, Ulukai. We have to be. Thank you for your time, but I now must leave. If you get a chance, try and disrupt the tax flow in the city. That will really upset Feran. May the odds be silent, Ulukai. Cool, right, okay, well... At least, straight away, we know what we're meant to be doing. If later on, he starts going... Taxes, eh? Then... We know exactly how stupid he is. Right, go to the lay of the land. Ooh, wibbly, 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 wibbly. I love that effect, it's amazing. It's a shame it only does it once, you know, like, per area. But, Jesus. Right, yeah, so here we are, a huge city. Lots of people, hardly, you know, bustle and bustle completely, but, you know, busy than easier than most places, because of course, it needs to be. Right, now, um, this place is perfect for parkour, I love it, and it is also extremely useful, <laughs> it's good for parkour if you can remember where it's good to parkour with. Oh Jesus, okay, um, There's only certain re parts you can reach, at which point you then have to... Aha! Right, okay. There we go. Money! Mm. Or metal. Right, okay. So yeah, there's lots of... Uh, lots of jumping and climbing and such around on this level. This area, sorry. Level. I suppose it is like a level, really. Um, you'll also find it very useful to be crouching, because... Line of sight plays a lot for these guys. They, you know, you can honestly lose a guard just by being hidden like this. It, it's really useful. Um, not very useful on those dome rooms, obviously, but still. 
Now, that area, very close to the entrance, so there's not a lot of give when it comes to entering the city and avoiding guards, but that area is the main... I think that's where Feyran is, like, ultimately. When you get towards the end of the game, that, that's where you've got to come back to. I think that's his, uh, that's his main palace or something like that, and it is heavily guarded. I mean, uh, with a few weapons I could maybe make a dent in it, but I wouldn't take on, you know, the, the final boss straight away. However, around the city, you'll find most corners, as well as a couple sort of along along the uh, sides, sort of, because it's it's a rectangle, so each corner and maybe one or two down the length, lengthier sides are just guard outposts. And you can see the red dots on the map there. Those would be slightly larger, so the red dots will go all the way around to the corner, and they will just patrol. And if you're not careful, when you clear a place out, it can become re uh, restocked, restaffed with uh, with guards, just because they'll come from other areas. So what we need to do is complete the the area objective, i.e., what are you waving at a wall for? Um, is take out the taxes or you know damage the tax flow in some way, and um, also we need to sort of uh, then take out. But if you take out all of the guard outposts, I think they then sort of stay clear because although they get restocked from the main temple, there's only you know there's not an infinite amount of guards. They're not stupid in that way, right? Anyway, exposition complete. Let's move on and look around. We need to find a recreator. We need to find the shamans. And I will keep the map up for a bit until I get used to where guards may be because they may not always be in the same place, but they will patrol certain areas. As well as, um, <laughs> many a time I was nearly caught before because you'll just wander around and there's a huge car patrol. And you think, oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Also, some interesting conversations going on. I have to admit, this is one of my favourite areas. I love it because it's just, um, the, the background sound uh, and the, the feel of it. Um, it it's quite, it's unique, but also meant to be something. You know, th this is a take on a, a realistic style. So a, a little artistic, you know. Um, uh, what's the word? Artistic. Ooh. Come get your secret object. Ah, perfect. Um, right, yeah, this man will sell us stuff if we have money. Perhaps this is exactly what the money's all been about. How you doing? Artistic interpretation, I suppose? Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Oh, look, guy. Yards be thanked. You have arrived. Yeah, wonderful. Can I ask what you do? My brothers will be so jealous I was the first to meet you. Your brothers? I have many brothers. We grew up together, were converted together, and all have the same business. One that spreads hope and comfort to all Talan. What is that? We all sell sacred objects of the Yards to those who would like to have them. These sacred objects have been traded for many moons, and all who have them feel they have a piece of the Yards with them. You've got some of my stuff? Great, let me see what you have. Why, of course, Urukai. I would be most happy to sell you any of the objects. Hold on a second, Zippy. What do you mean, <laughs> sell me the objects? <laughs> Zippy? They're my equipment. I can see why you are upset, Urukai. But once you hear our story, you will understand why we must ask for Zorkins for these objects, even from you. I will alert my brothers that you have met with me first, so they can expect your arrival. I.e., we won't have this conversation every time we meet someone. Right, um. Current prices. How much are your objects, creep? <laughs> Hurt, frighten, be destructive! What are you doing, Ulukai? I have had to lower my prices to their lowest point in moons just to try and create interest. How about giving them some Wrath of Yards distraction? Right, okay.
Alright, let's get the story out of the way, and then it's done. This better be a damn good story for why I have to pay for my own equipment. Damn straight. Our father has always tried to decide which one of us would be given the control of the family business when he is reverting. So now my brothers and I have been given each a book to sell in. Let me guess, the one who makes the most Zorkins wins. Oh, um, this will probably come up later, but a bok is like a, a district in the city. I remember that. You have talked to our father? Is not his plan a brilliant one? Look, buddy, I'm here trying to save my world, and the only way I can do that is by sticking my neck out for yours. Now you're standing here telling me that because of some stupid contest you have, I have to buy my own equipment from you? We will all give you a discount, of course. Oh, thanks. This is like selling water to a guy who comes to help save your burning home. Yeah, that's what it is. Good analogy. I do not think you see the full drawing, Ulukai. <laughs> it is not the Zorkins or the business we are all wanting. My brothers and I all hate each other and do not want to let one of the others be in charge. That would be worse than reversion to us. Can we not just kill you and take the stuff then? You know I'm trying to help you, Talon, right? To put an end to Feyran, to end all suffering, this ringing any bells here? We are not the Talon who are making them suffer, Urukai. Great. Then maybe I should just stop helping. That would be great for business, Urukai. As Talon suffering increases, so does the prices of our items. If all the Talon are miserable, then they will pay their last Zorkin for something of the yards. If they are hopeful, they less need our sacred objects. I cannot believe this. <laughs> I should do this world a favor and start ridding it of Talon like you. And that would make you better than us to revert a Talon without a weapon? You do not need to buy from any of us, Urukai. We pay Talon who find secret objects in the wild. You are welcome to explore the regions and find them as well. You guys are definitely off my Christmas list. <laughs> Alright, uh, see if he actually has anything useful or if it's just the generic stuff we can find around. Weapons! What have we got? Come on, give us. Ooh. User SH1. Now that's the next level up, I think. This will be handy. It's a quick fire weapon. I don't know, have I got 360? Let's take it. Take your damn Zorkins. What's going... Right, okay. <laughs> he apparently wasn't standing in quite the right place. And all these people just queued up behind Make us. Make sure you scare other talent when using this, okay? Drag my prices off. We shall do our best not to. Not just for the prices. We're not out to scare the people. Um... Items? I'm not sure how good the items are going to be. PPS, F link. Ooh, F link. Go for it. Take your damn Zorkins. We've got to do this every time I want to buy something. Why is he all the way over there? He wandered off halfway through the conversation. It matches your shirt, Uluka. Fuck off. Alright, that's gonna do us for now. There we go. Right. Come get your secret now, him mentioning F-Link reminds me that since we're so close, I will head back to the portal and add a sort of essentially like a waypoint there, a teleporter. Okay, and where is it? Um Look, yeah, see we've got multiple ones there. Right, okay, we we'll go with the triangle. I don't know why, but we we'll what we do is we place it. There we go. 
You see the little triangle on the map? Oh, also see some guards on the map. Gotta be careful with that. Yellow. What does yellow mean again? I think that's a torn heart they're escorting. Right. Um, now, anytime I use that device again with the triangle on it, uh, which is in our inventory again, probably the bottom. No. Um, oh, there it is, yeah. Anytime I use that triangle one again, it will teleport me back here. Now, I believe every time I use it, I have to place it down again. But, you know, no hardship, is it?